forward starting right now. We start becoming a team right now. Skating. Passing. Flow. Creativity. That is what this team is all about, gentlemen. Not old rivalries. Gavin went from Tumbleweeds to Miracle, which is like a pretty big leap from, from one movie to the other. He, did it, he really landed on his feet. But, um, but Gavin sort of became Herb Brooks during that scene and, and sort of like shot these guys for three days, just exhausted these young guys. And the big gamble in Miracle was it was about the US hockey team, and he needed to get these young kids that could act. And skating is just a really hard thing to pull off. You can't just learn skating in a few months. So he went and he threw a big dragnet over the country. Uh, I think they auditioned like 6,000 kids all over Canada and the United States and found 22 guys to play the US hockey team. And then he turned them into actors, basically. You know what? Put your street clothes on, because I got no time for quitters. Come on, Herb. Nobody's quitting here. You worry about your own game. Plenty there to keep you busy. Bruise on the leg is a hell of a long way from the heart, you candy ass. What'd you call me? You heard me. You want me to play, huh? Is that what you want? I want you to be a hockey player! I am a hockey player! You want me to play one Once way? we got past the acting part, which was like the first part of the film, we all had our fingers crossed. We were just like, oh my god, I hope these kids can pull it off. But they did. We could shoot this like you can't really shoot anything like this. We, we, we could shoot full coverage. We never had to cut to the skates or the head. And then, you know, you know, we didn't have to use body doubles. These kids were like 21, 22. And you throw them against the, you know, boards and they do anything. I mean, whatever you need. You know, they were college hockey players. They're like cloud nine for being in a major motion picture. So it was a really terrific experience. And we got to shoot the sports like you can't shoot sports. So we were really lucky like that. The whole game is announced by Al Michaels, the big game, and we had to put the announcer's voice in the game. And finally, when we were really locked, then we had Al Michaels for three or four days, and he came in, and he was really, he was really great to work with. Gavin was very, he's a, he's a maven for, you know, authenticity, and all this, all the, the goals and stuff were very, very accurate. To Johnson in front, broken up by Holmgren, kept in by Baker and fired behind the But you know, when it came down to the you know the announcing, we, we, I got a transcript of the game, and I could put some of the actual transcript of the game against the movie. But we were making up a lot of stuff that getting from point A to point B. If you really work each scene, you're building all your components really well. You're, 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 get, you're mining each component. You start with a microscope, you keep standing back, and you get wider and wider, and finally you're seeing the whole thing. And then if you've built it really well at a micro level, you're really comfortable that you've gotten the best out of each scene, then at the end, really what you might be doing, you're restructuring. You're going, okay, well maybe we want to take that scene and move it over here, and move it over there. But you know that each scene works really well because you've put the time into it. <laughs> 